Welcome back to Triple R. We're going to take a look at Tops Attacks, the baseball game. It's the 2011 edition. Uh, Tops Attacks games, I don't think are that great. If I remember correctly, we're going to pop it open. I got it for cheap. It looks kind of cool. The cards look pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we have the box. It came a little beat up. It's supposed to be a new inbox. And you see the corner on the left there is a little beat down. But everything seems to be here. It's got the promo cards in the front. This is the 2011 series. They had a 2010 series as well. Uh, I think the 2011, I think, introduced the special abilities. So I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. So I haven't seen 2010. But this thing was like seven, eight bucks. So I wanted to check it out. So, yeah, let's pop it open here. So here's your foils. So I don't know anything about baseball, like who's playing, or even at this time, I think I watched baseball in the 80s for a little bit. So I don't know any of these players. You guys might. Okay, other things to come in the two-player starter set are two ready-to-play, 30-card decks, two deck storage boxes, deluxe play mat, which you see here. Pretty sturdy. I'm gonna fold it out, and you'll see the playing field. The components are pretty good. So they're, they're pretty sturdy. Now the deck boxes are little cardboard boxes that you fold up, will only hold a 30 card deck. Uh, if you sleeve it, I don't think it'll hold. <laughs> so one, one deck came together in box in this wrapper. The other deck is not in the box, but they give you the uh, cardboard box to put together yourself. Just fold it together and you're ready to go. Let's go through the setup really quick. Okay, for setup, each player needs 25 batters, three pitchers, one mascot, and one ballpark card. Separate each into piles. You cannot have two cards of the same player on your team during the game. Both players put their three pitchers on the bullpen spots on the game mat. Both players put their mascots face down on their mascot spot on the game mat. Don't show your mascot to the other player. Both players shuffle their batters and put them face down on their team deck spots on the game mat. This is your deck. All cards you take during the game will be picked from this deck. And there's a quick thing about star rating down here, about tournament rules, not worried about that. Okay, let's look at a batting card. So you have the team, the position, the player, the hit diamond, offensive ability, defense or fielding ability. So the rarity is hit and pitch scores, the card number, star count. So in the hit diamond, he has a T there, which means he hits for a triple. That would be a single, he would be a double, so on and so on. So a little bit about that stuff later. Okay, let's take a look at some of the cards that come in the set. Again, I don't know any of these players. <laughs> I don't watch baseball. I didn't watch it in 2011, and I don't watch it now. So, but I do enjoy card games, and I will pick it up if it's cheap, <laughs> usually. So there's all your batters here, and you sh should have three pitchers in each deck. Here's your mascot. Which have special abilities. So they have like a um, one time shot and like an ongoing effect. More batters here. There's a pitcher. You would have thought in the, in the box here, being <laughs> they put everything together your batters together and your pitchers together, but they did not. No worries. All right, we're going to date our three pitchers. In the bullpen later. Here's the ballpark card and the mascot card. Each team has one of these. Uh, the mascot card here has two abilities. It's face down, you flip it over at bat, gives you a, like an ability when you're at bat. It also has an ongoing ability that happens each inning, so you want to keep an eye on that on your upkeep. So each inning, it'll trigger that ability. All right, got the game mat up. Here's a pitcher. Gonna be on the pitching mound, fastball, change up special. So they'll be face up when you come into play. And you're gonna grab your deck, shuffle it up. You're gonna draw a hand of four, and then beginning each inning, even the first inning, you draw an additional card. So you have a hand of five actually, which gives you more um, chances to use abilities. It's 
kind of nice. Going to pick a batter. So we're going to go face down on the home plate. So let's see here. So you're going to see what they hit for, if it's a single or a double. You just want to get someone on first base or not. And the numbers there, 71, 75, 94. That's what he needs to beat the pitcher score. So he has a 71 for a fastball. If the pitcher's fastball is a 70, then he gets a hit and will advance to base. And vice versa, if it's lower, he's out. So for innings in scoring, after a batter scores a run, move him to the dugout. When both players have had three outs at bat, the inning is over. If there is a tie after three innings, go an extra inning, so on and so on. And then, you know, use dice or coins to see who goes first. All right, quick overview of gameplay. Got the pitcher on the mound, batter at home plate. The pitching player will decide what pitch, announce it, then the batter will be flipped over. He'll compare numbers, see if it's a hit. He'll go to the base, depending on what's in the diamond there, triple, single, double, home run. Before that happens, though, the defense gets to use their abilities, which are on your in your hand, and they are the red square abilities. So you'll play one of those to try to stop him from advancing or get him automatically out, so on and so on. They'll play their ability, then the batter has a chance to play their ability to counteract that. So you'll be playing abilities from your hand to make sure you can get on base, try to score runs, so on and so on. So you're going to take a look through your hand, find what ability you want to use to try to either get the, the batter out. And then the batter's going to do the same thing look at their hand, try to counteract that. So, seems like a pretty cool back and forth. All right, we got a batter ability here. So when you're at bat, if there's anyone on base, the runners run the same amount as the batting players hit diamond. So he hits for a single, if there was a runner on third, if that batter's successful, the runner on third will get to score. So, so on and so on, if he hit for a double, if there's a runner on second, he would score. Now, if the pitching player is able to get the player out, nobody advances. Now, in case of a tie, if the batting player and the pitching player's numbers match, that's a walk. The batter advances to first base. Other runners do not advance, and that's the walk. I did mention the ballpark card earlier. So that card comes into play at the beginning of the game after the die roll. The winner puts his ballpark card into play, it has ongoing ability, like home field advantage, and the other player gets to bat first. So that's how that actually works. All right, that'll do it for Tops Attacks Baseball Game 2011. That's out of here.